Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with a quick update in response to my video that I just posted this last weekend. I had a couple questions about my mantle and the lighting. Um, how did I do the lighting? Is it battery operated? How do I hide cords if it's not? And I wanted to kind of come and show you because it's difficult to kind of explain, but I kind of want to show you how I did it just to give you a visual. I'm a visual person, so I like to um, just do this quick video to show you. It is not battery operated lighting. Um, I'm not, I like to use my lighting a lot during the holidays and battery operated lighting is just not user friendly for me. It's not cost effective for me. And so this is basically a string of regular Christmas lights that I use. And as you can notice, you really can't see the cords, how they're dangling from my, you can't see them dangling from my topiaries or anything, but they are there. And I use one, it's one string of lighting for the whole mantle. And what I wanna do is I wanna take you kind of behind to show my, you my little trickery of how I hide the strings and it don't have cords hanging because one thing I cannot stand is um, hanging cords and things like that so I want to show you how to hide your cords if you're interested in doing something like this now as you see the topiaries are on my candle lovers I have different and I explained that in my last video and so what I did is I started from one end, which was this, basically this end, and I put the lighting into my topiary ball at the top as normal, as I liked it, and when it came down, I hid the cord behind the candelabra. So the cord, you see it hanging right there behind the candelabra, but you can't see it. I used blue tack to adhere it to my piece so that when you look on, you don't see that it's behind the candelabra. I use burlap to come down and it hides the cord. As you go down the mantle, it's still the same cord and it's just going down. And then when I get to my second, to my third topiary, right here on the other side of the mantle, you see how it's hidden behind the burlap still. But when I go up to hide it so that I can put lighting into that topiary, I see the blue tack here? I have the blue tack here behind. And blue tack you can get from Amazon.com, you can get from any uh, Michaels or any craft store, or I think um, Target and Walmart, I'm not sure, but I, I can't imagine they wouldn't have it. Um, even office supply stores, but even you see, I have it just, and it doesn't damage your piece. That's what I love about it. And you can't see it. And then the burlap again, and going to the second, the last topiary here, and it's just going up and you see my cord behind there when you look behind there, but when you look onto my mantle and from the side, you cannot see it. So no one really knows that it's, that it's there. And I put these last two topiaries very close together so that I can connect the lighting and you can't tell, um, if you come up on it, you'll see that little cord crossing but when you look on to my mantle you don't see it it, it, it kind of disappears um, with the greenery and things like that and then coming off to the side I have that burlap and that burlap is gold when I'm hiding my cords coming down to the side of my um, mantle there and I have my simple command strips cord organizers here I love those command strips during the holidays they don't damage your wall and they're just so easy to use and I got mine from Lowe's and you can get them from Lowe's Target Walmart anywhere you, you guys know this product here and so it really um, it hides the cord so that when you look onto my mantle you don't see that the cord is hanging from the side of the mantle and I have it going all the way down until the floor and then once it hits the floor you know you can easily hide it until you get to the plug so this is how I hid my cords um it was a little bit of trickery but i hope this helps and please you guys please go to www.athomewithnikki.com my blog uh, i love to do my daily blog and to share with you and all these little things like this i'll be sharing on the blog also and i am so enjoying you, you all that have um liked my facebook page communicating with you like daily on that that is so awesome so if you haven't liked my facebook page please go do that i love communicating with you on that and have a wonderful day